Sing we now of Christmas, Noel sing we hear. Hear our grateful praises to the babe so dear. Sing we Noel, the King is born Noel. Merry Christmas. It's our great joy to welcome all of you at this most magical time of year to our Self-Realization Fellowship International Headquarters, our Mother Center, as our Guru Paramahansa Yogananda called it. And through our virtual Christmas open house to join together in celebration of this holy season. So come as we begin by greeting you in a few of the many languages from around the world that help epitomize that vast universal spirit of Christ. Hyvää joulua. Fröhliche Weihnachten, ein gesegnetes neues Jahr. Joyeux Noël. Ab sabko Christmas ki bahut bahut shubhkamnaye. Prettige kerstdagen. Evelugi mena Christogena. Buon Natale. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Natal. Benvenuti e buon Natale. Hamare Christmas Open House me apka swagat hai. Bienvenidos y les deseamos una feliz Navidad. Christmas Open House hai, yo koso. Huan yen, zu ni san dan kwai lo. Dobro dashli, his rechen vorsicht. Herzlich willkommen und frohe Weihnachten. Sejam bem-vindos e feliz Natal. A warm greeting to all of you who are joining us for our virtual Christmas open house here at our home of our guru, Paramahansa Yogananda. Merry Christmas and please come inside. Hello and welcome to our Christmas open house. We're here at the festively decorated main hall of the Self-Realization Fellowship International Headquarters, established here in Los Angeles in 1925 by our guru and founder Paramahansa Yogananda. And I'm Brother Prafalananda. And I'm Brother Govindananda. We're very happy to have you here with us today, just to share a little bit about our program. We'll be starting with a special welcome message from our president, Brother Chidananda, after which we'll be showing you the nativity and creche scenes here at Mother Center and at Encinitas. We'll also be taking you on a brief tour of our Guru's rooms at Mother Center and Encinitas, and we'll be finishing with a short meditation in the chapel here. And now, let's enjoy this special Christmas message from our revered president, Brother Chidananda. Joyous Christmas greetings to you, my dear divine friends. I'm so very happy that you're joining us for this special gathering here at the SRF Mother Center so that we can start the Christmas season together in the joy, in the divine vibrations that bless this beautiful ashram that was founded by our Guru Paramansa Yogananda. And my prayer is that you start Christmas today. Start today to feel and immerse your consciousness in the heavenly peace and joy that emanates from the infinite Christ consciousness during this holy season. 
that consciousness of uplifting divine love, and that pervades the whole universe. And that was so beautifully and so personally manifested in the beloved Lord Jesus. If we make ourselves receptive, those elevating spiritual vibrations, they have the power to transform us profoundly by bestowing on us a tangible experience of our own true nature, the soul. And it's that awakening soul understanding, that's the gift that I pray you receive this Christmas. You know, many years ago, at a Christmas gathering right here in this building, Paramahansa Ji expressed this beautiful thought to those who had come. And this is for each one of you as well. He said, My greatest Christmas gift for you is the wish that the joy which Christ felt in his soul may come to you. And then he said, Meditation opens the door to Christ consciousness. Meditation opens the door to Christ consciousness. I know we're all looking forward to our special Christmas meditations in the coming days and weeks. I know I certainly am. So let's remember that regardless of our outer role in this drama of creation, no matter what might be going on in the world around us, let's remember the importance of making time, time to cast off the consciousness of the world, the worries of the world, and go deep within, deep within the peace, deep within the divine shelter of God's presence within our souls. How do we do that? Through the practice of the blessed methods of meditation that our Guru has given to us. That is the true celebration of Christmas. That is what our Guru brought to us. He urges each one of us, connect with that divine consciousness of Christ and the Great Ones. That will empower us to face with courage, to face whatever challenges we may meet and inwardly triumph over them. As we meditate day after day, going deeper and deeper, gradually we gain an assurance, an unshakable security born of intuition that we know in our hearts, we know in our whole beings that we can never be outside the protecting aura of God, the protecting aura of the masters who watch over this world. So my dear ones, my prayer for you is that throughout this Christmas season, your hearts and your homes may be filled with Christ's joy with the uplifting vibrations of unconditional love, the vibrations of heavenly peace that are continuously flowing from God, Christ, and the Gurus. And I wish you and all your loved ones a most blessed Christmas. God bless you all. We call this little tree on the piano the peace tree. It has miniature globes of the world and doves which represent peace. The dolls depict the national dress of people around the world and their togetherness, again, represents world peace and brotherhood.
This miniature house was created over 40 years ago by some of the nuns and then added to through the years. They enjoyed making new items for it each Christmas. It's been fondly referred to as the Angel House. The house has been displayed for members and their children to enjoy at Christmas time for the past 30 years or so, and it brings joy to the children who usually come to the Mother Center to share our Christmas decorations. You see here some of the little Christmas trees of all nations that we put up yearly. Each one displaying authentic decorations native to a particular country. And here are some of the many Christmas cards we received during the festive season. Guruji had them displayed here, and we continue that tradition. We very much cherish the warm wishes and loving greetings we receive from Master's worldwide family and friends during this holy season. And please know that we send you our love and our prayers for a blessed Christmas in return. For many years, Gurudev himself conducted the all-day Christmas meditations. He would come down these stairs and each time would pause here for a while before continuing on to the reception hall and into the chapel. Once, one of the senior nuns happened to be present when Massa stopped here on one of those occasions. He stood quietly, looked at the many cards, and then turned to her and said, I take them all with me, meaning he was gathering them all in his heart and taking them with him into the chapel and meditation. And this is what our blessed Gurudev is doing even today, every day 
drawing us ever closer to God, to beloved Christ. For many of us growing up in the West, Christmas has always been a very special time of year, with family coming together, social gatherings, special gifts, and much-loved religious traditions. But our Guru Paramahansa Yogananda explained that there's much more to Christmas beyond just this. He said, to bring divine awareness into our human consciousness, we must outgrow the limited conventional conception of Christ. He said, to me, Christmas is a thought of spiritual grandeur, a realization that our minds are an altar of Christ, the universal intelligence in all creation. To human vision, he's the little babe born in Bethlehem and the Savior who healed the sick and raised the dead. So, Paramahansa Ji is saying that this is the traditional understanding in the West. But he continued, To divine vision, he is the Christ awareness in all space and in every atom. This is the expanded vision of Christmas, the omnipresence of spirit. Our Guru said, The Christ consciousness in Jesus, at one with the evolver knower of all, was able to perceive with countless eyes in every speck of space, past, present, and future. The real celebration of Christmas is to expand our own consciousness into this awareness. Paramahansaji said, you should aspire to know that Christ within you. To know that Christ within is the purpose of meditation and the Christmas season gives us a wonderful opportunity to deepen our meditations so we can experience the deeper reality for ourselves. All of the outer decorations are symbols of the wondrous inner reality. And we have a poignant symbol of the spiritual eye in our Christmas tree. Paramahansaji said, at the top of your Christmas tree, you place a shiny star. So this star, it symbolizes the spiritual eye which we can learn to see in meditation at the point between the eyebrows. The throne of Christ, our Guru said, is in your spiritual eye. When you are in tune with Him there, at the center of Christ consciousness, you can feel His presence and see Him sleeping on the bed of stars dancing on the billows of your feelings, resting on the altar of your devotion. In meditation, we learn to bring the subtle energy first into the spinal centers, the chakras in the spine. And if we can bring the energy even further up the spine and focus at, at this point between the eyebrows, we then perceive the light of the spiritual eye, which is a golden ring with a dark center, with a star in the middle. And to pass our consciousness through that spiritual eye is the metaphysical way to enter the state of Christ consciousness and to experience the true meaning of Christmas. Our Guru said that the spiritual eye is the star of the East, followed by the three wise men to find the Christ and he encouraged us to remember the true significance of the star on top of the tree as we prepare our own Christmas tree in order to celebrate the birth of Christ. There's a special Christmas story about one of Paramahansaji's early disciples in America, Dr. Lewis. He visited Paramahansaji for the very first time on Christmas Eve in 1920. And he was already a deeply spiritual person, and he was a member of a metaphysical society. And one of his friends there, Mrs. Alice T. Hazy, told him of a Swami who'd recently arrived in Boston from India, and she encouraged him to meet the Swami. And Doctor agreed, but reluctantly, since he didn't think that any real holy man would come to Boston from India. 
So the meeting was set for early on Christmas Eve. And Doctor planned to be there just a little while, so he told his wife to wait and he would help decorate their Christmas tree when he got back. Dr. Lewis was skeptical when he met our guru, so he thought to give him a test. He asked about one of the most abstruse phrases in the Bible. The Bible tells us the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Can you explain this? I think so, Swamiji replied. Doctor was still doubtful. I have asked many persons, but no one seems to know the meaning. Can the blind lead the blind, our guru said? Both would fall into the same ditch of error. That impressed Dr. Lewis, because he recognized this to be a quote of Jesus. And further, when the Swami looked into his eyes, his doubts just went away. Can you show me these things, doctor demanded? I think so, Master reiterated. Then for heaven's sake, please show me, Doctor exclaimed. Then Swamiji showed Doctor the light of the spiritual eye and of the thousand petal lotus in the brain. And after showing Dr. Lewis how to see the light of the spiritual eye and, and then giving him other spiritual instruction, Paramahansaji asked him if he thought other Americans would be interested in these teachings. Yes, I do, doctor replied. Then the guru said, after you practice what I've taught you, if these te techniques of meditation appeal to you and benefit you, will you help others to know about them? I certainly will, said doctor. So it was 2 o'clock a.m. on that Christmas morning in 1920 when Dr. Lewis finally returned home from his appointment. And Mrs. Lewis had been alarmed by his long absence, but when she saw his face, she realized that the meeting had been a transforming experience. Doctor had promised to decorate the family Christmas tree, but instead his guru had illumined for him the inner spinal Christmas tree. And no doubt he had seen the spiritual lights of the chakras and the star on the top of the 1,000 petaled lotus. And often afterwards, when telling of this divine awakening, doctor said, it was my first real Christmas. The Master can impart this inner Christmas awakening upon any disciple who is ready. He said, Concentrate on the star at the top of the bodily tree, the spiritual eye, and upon the Christ spirit of universal brotherhood, which is the way of peace. Will you remember that when you place your gifts under the tree, that you are surrendering your material desires and turning to the star of the spiritual eye for freedom? To give you that experience is why I have instituted an all-day meditation at Christmas time, that you may experience the joy of Christ's communion in a greater way. And so we look forward to seeing you at our all-day Christmas meditation, taking place at our temples and centers and groups all around the world and also online.
Now let us take our consciousness deep inside with this beautiful affirmation by Paramahansa Yogananda from his uh, metaphysical meditations. All my thoughts are decorating the Christmas tree of meditation with the rare gifts of devotion that are sealed with the golden heart prayers that Christ may come and receive my humble gifts. And now, mentally join in with the Master in this prayer that he gave for all of us. O Christ, bless thy children that they inwardly cooperate with thy laws. Make us realize that thou art the best shelter from harm. O Lord, make my heart big enough to hold thee, that it throb with the Christ consciousness in everything. Then I shall enjoy the festivity of thy birth in my mind, my soul, and in oneness with every pulsing atom. Now we'll join Brother Kamalananda, who will lead us in a brief Christmas meditation. Greetings and welcome to the meditation portion of this Christmas open house event. My name is Brother Kamalananda, and I, along with some of the monks, are in the main chapel at the SRF International Headquarters, where our Gurudeva Paramahansa Yogananda had many profound spiritual experiences, including visions of Jesus Christ and great saints. As you prepare to meditate, try to mentally place yourself with us in this sacred chapel. Paramahansaji said, Each year at Christmas time, there are strong vibrations of Christ consciousness in the air. Those who are attuned by their devotion and by deep scientific meditation will receive in their own consciousness these vibrations of the universal consciousness that was in Christ Jesus. It is of utmost importance to every man, whatever his religion, that he experience within himself this birth of the universal Christ. Now, to prepare for meditation, Assume the correct meditation posture, spine erect, shoulders held back, abdomen tucked in, hands with the palms upturned resting near the junction of the thighs and the abdomen, chin parallel to the floor, eyes gently closed with the gaze lifted upward to the Christ consciousness center, the point between the eyebrows. 
calm the body and the mind and take the attention within. Now with all the devotion and feeling of our hearts, let us pray together. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father Mother, 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 Friend, Friend Beloved God, Beloved God Jesus, Christ, Jesus Christ, Bhagavan Krishna, Bhagavan Krishna Mahavatar Babaji, Mahavatar Babaji Lahiri Mahashay, Lahiri Mahashay Swami Sri Yukteswar, Swami Sri and our Guru, and our Guru Paramahansa Yogananda, Paramahansa Yogananda, Saints of all religions, Saints of all religions, we bow to you all. We bow to you all. O Heavenly Father, O Heavenly Father, help us in this meditation. Help us in this meditation to feel in a greater way. To feel in a greater way. Thine unconditional love, Thine unconditional love for, each one of us. for each one of us. Reveal Thyself, Reveal thyself as, joy, as joy, as wisdom, as, wisdom, as, spiritual, perception. as spiritual perception. Reveal Thyself. Reveal thyself. Om, Om. Peace. Peace. Amen. Amen. We will now have a short devotional chant to awaken our devotion and to focus our minds. And following the period of chanting, we will have a short period of silent meditation followed by prayer for others and for world peace. So as we chant, I encourage all of us to sing along, feeling deeply the meaning behind the words. Stone Christ, 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 Stone Om Christ, 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 Om. Oh my Jesus, come to me, come to me, oh come to me. Oh my Jesus, come to me, come to me, oh come to me. Oh my Jesus, come to me, come to me, oh come to me. Don't cry, 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 don't Om Christ, 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 Om. Oh my Jesus, come to me, come to me, oh come to me. Oh my Jesus, come to me, come to me, oh come to me. Oh my Jesus, come to me, come to me, oh come to me. Oh Christ, 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 oh Om Christ, 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 Om 
Christ, oh 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 Christ,
Let us now take a few moments to pray deeply for those who have requested for physical, mental or spiritual help for those in need. Let us also pray for world peace and harmony among all people and nations. Let us close our meditation with a prayer. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, Mother, Mother, Friend, Friend, Beloved God, Beloved God, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Bhagavan Krishna, Bhagavan Krishna, Krishna, Great Gurus of Self-realization, Great Gurus of Self-realization, Saints of all religions, Saints of all religions, We bow to you all. We bow to you all. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, may thy love, may thy love shine, forever shine forever on the sanctuary of our devotion, on the sanctuary of our devotion and may we be able, and may we be able to, awaken thy love to awaken thy love in all hearts. In all hearts. Om, Om. Peace. Peace. Amen. Amen. A very blessed Christmas to you and your dear ones. May God and the Gurus bless us all. Jai Guru, Jai Christ. So I am very, very happy to be here again with you in person. And it was wonderful to be with you in spirit. And may you have a most wonderful awakening in Christ and God and the Masters and the Gurus that you ever had. So remember, all of you who will go to the end of your days on earth in this show, loyal to God and Christ and the great Gurus, you will find them waiting for you as the greatest Christmas present that you'd ever have. And never disbelieve my words, for they are true. My words, what I tell you, is true. But if I did not know, I wouldn't tell you that. So be true to the end, to SRF and the Gurus and Christ and God, and you will find them waiting. God bless you all. Very happy Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring for you and your kin. Good tidings of Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring of holiday cheer, good tidings of 